All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to talk to you about what to do if your games on Steam are crashing when you try to load them, or they're they're starting to play, but then they start to have some sort of weird glitchy freak out. They throw an error, and then they crash, or they just crash, and you're not entirely certain why. Uh, the first thing I'm going to say is, if you're playing a game that just came out, like it literally just came out yesterday, Google the problem that you're having. This is probably something that a lot of people are experiencing, especially with brand new games. They always have big hiccups at launch. Just look and there might be a solution or the developers might say, hey, if you wait a few hours, we're going to send out a patch tonight that should address the problem. Um, if you have a specific error code that you're getting when the game crashes and then you can Google that error code, Google that first, because that'll probably fix your problem a lot faster than this guide will. With that in mind, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So let's say for the sake of argument that my game Abotic Factor is having problems. It launches, but then after a little bit it crashes, and I'm not entirely certain as to why. The first thing I would probably do is verify the integrity of the installed game's files, because when you do updates or when you play the game and something crashes or you Alt F4, sometimes things get messed up. It happens. So I'm gonna right click Abiotic Factor inside my Steam library, and I'm gonna go down to Properties. This is gonna bring open this Properties window. And from here, I can go down to the installed files, and I can verify the integrity of the game files. So Steam has a checksum file where it kinda knows what the files are supposed to look like, and it'll go through with that checksum file when I click on Scan, and it'll look to make sure that all of the files look like they're intact. Like, this looks like it's supposed to. And if it finds a problem, it should delete that file and re-download anything that didn't validate correctly. So if you did see it delete something and it downloaded something to replace that file, then you probably found what the problem was. Give it a boot to see if it'll work. If it did, fantastic, you solved your problem. If not, let's move on to the next thing. After that, um, another thing you can try, like, let's say your game starts to load, but it doesn't load completely and then it crashes, but you kind of, you think it kind of works. It's just something's wrong with like the settings. So what you can do is you can force a game to boot into windowed mode by using the launch settings. So if I go back to properties and down here under general are launch options and launch options are something you can Google steam launch options, but long story short, you can force the game to do certain things on boot up by putting in a, a little command in this window. In this case, we're gonna type in windowed or SW for start windowed, but I'm gonna just type in windowed. And this will force the game to boot into windowed mode as opposed to full screen mode. Something that can happen, especially with older games, is if your settings aren't set up correctly, when it boots, it'll have a conflict with how big your monitor is or the size of your monitor, either width or height, and it'll freak out and it'll crash. So to get around this, we just started in windowed mode. It can be any size it wants to at that point. Then you can change your settings and restart it, and you should be good to go. Uh, if you'd like, you can Google Steam launch options, and it should give you a list of all of the available ones and what they do. Otherwise, uh, don't worry about that. We'll go on to the next thing. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our Steam files because at this point there's clearly something very wrong with your game and you might have to reinstall it, which happens from time to time. But before you do that, let's go ahead and go into Steam. Let's go to settings. Once you're in settings, go down to storage. And then over here, this is where it shows you all of the different drives that you have a folder on or you can add a drive folder to another drive if you want that allows you to move different games around. So if you have like big games, let's say you put those on your space, your D, your D drive and all your smaller games you put on your C drive, whatever it is, you can change that stuff here. But basically, whichever one you have selected, like this one here, I've got my local drive is my primary Steam uh, drive. And that's where these games are currently installed. If your game is not in this list, you might have to switch to your other list of games by clicking your other drive if you have multiple drives here. But most people should only have one. So with that in mind, we're going to go down here and we're going to click on these three dots and we're going to click on repair 
the Steam library, which will pop up a request for admin privileges, go ahead and say yes. That's why the screen went blank there for a moment. And what it's going to do is the same sort of idea as the verify the integrity of the, the game files for Abiotic Factor is it's going to go through and look at all of the different files associated with your, ga your Steam games and double check that they are correct and there is nothing corrupted or broken that needs to be deleted and redownloaded. If it does find a problem, it should correct it and start downloading and replacing anything that it needs to. If it does download and replace something, go ahead and try to boot the game again. In fact, after you try this, go ahead and try to boot the game again. I've actually had the first time I figured out that this was a thing. The game just started working. Nothing really changed, but it just was like, oh, I guess I better get my act together. Um, if that doesn't work, another thing you can do is you can go back to Steam and go to Settings. And then you want to go down to your downloads and you want to clear your download cache. What this is going to do, because it's down here like halfway down the page, this is going to delete all of the prerequisites that Steam has downloaded along with your games. These are things like the frameworks that the computer needs to like run interfaces and do different things. They're required software that's free but is required for the game to install properly and to run. But sometimes those uh, associated supporting softwares don't work correctly. They're corrupted when you download them because of some hiccup when you're downloading it. Stuff happens. Um, by clearing this, you delete those old ones, and I click confirm, it'll just restart my Steam real quick. And that should, in theory, delete any broken prerequisite files that Steam has pre-downloaded in the past, and then you will re-download them if you install the game again, preventing it from installing the same corrupted software twice. This happens sometimes, like you'll download some software and there'll be a hiccup in your internet from like a storm or something, or just for no reason whatsoever. A one will turn to a zero and something breaks, it happens. But the important thing is once you go through here, but the important thing is once you go through here, if you do need to reinstall the game completely, that will make sure it fresh installs everything. So just keep that in mind. Um, from here, the, basically the only thing that's left for you to do is to find the game that's causing problems. If it's still causing problems, right click, go down to manage and click uninstall and then uninstall it again after you've done a fresh uninstall of all of the associated files and settings. From here, your next steps are probably going to be to contact the developer's support line. If they're still around, if this is a newer game, they should have some support available, or you can go online to a different user group for the game on a forum or on to like places like Reddit, where you might be able to get some additional technical support and help. And then one of those should be able to give you more specific fixes for the game that you have in question. Because a lot of these problems that happen are generally pretty common. Like, you know, I've got a new computer. I'm trying to play a game that's like 15 years old. Why is it breaking when I do X, Y, and Z? Generally, someone out there is like, oh, it's because you got to run it in compatibility mode or you have to, you know, hold a seance with these wax candles. Somebody probably has a guide that can be a little bit more specific than these general purpose guides. So anyway, that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. This has been a few different ways that you can go through and try to fix a game that will not boot on Steam. I hope that this helped you. It, pro it may not have. Uh, but until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.